don't you bitches just love my new sunglasses? That's right, Smexy Vexy here. I'm going to show y'all how to be the HBIC of all entertainment, bitches. <laughs> what is going on, you guys? It's your boy Avery here. You are looking at a graduate of his two-year degree. That's right, I finally have my associate's in arts degree. And uh, <laughs> I just got these sunglasses from a really good family friend. And it was funny because on the card, she wrote... Uh, Oh crap, what was it? Oh, your future's so bright, you need to wear a pair of shades. I'm like, hell yeah, boys. Let's go. <laughs> so, I'm going to keep these on, though, because of the fact that I'm going to be taking these on my cruise. That's right, boys. I'm going to be gone for an entire week. I'm going to be chilling and just drinking and chilling, probably drinking some more. <laughs> I'm not 21, but the drinking age is 18 up, but that's besides the point. I wanted to do a serious channel update for you guys and kind of let you know what's going to be going on with the channel while I'm going to be gone. Um, I'm going to try and make a video tonight to schedule it for Sunday, so I'll already be out at sea for a day. So if that video happens to be on the channel on Sunday, just know that I'm not here, so if I don't respond to your comments, that's why, so don't be triggered. <laughs> um, but, you know, hopefully that video will come. So what's going on exactly? Like I said, I'm going on a cruise. I'm going to be gone for a whole week. I leave tomorrow on Saturday, May 13th, and I will be back the following Saturday. Um, and then I kind of have a span of like four days or so before I have to like go back to work, my shitty retail job that I've talked about before. Yeah, that thing. <laughs> um, I put in a new availability since I'm not going to be working uh, the entire, or I'm not going to be going to school, I'm sorry, for the entire summer. Um, now that I'm going to be at a four-year university, I'm going to be there for two years to get my four-year degree. Um, so I'll just be working a lot over summer at my job, and then I'll, of course, be making as many videos as I can for you guys. I've been kind of bleeding subscribers for the past couple weeks, unfortunately. I was at 710 right when I did the upload for Capital G on his channel, and then ever since then, I've just been kind of bleeding subscribers. Like right now, I'm sitting at 688, which could be because of multiple things. It could be because of the fact that, you know, I'm uploading FTK decks, I'm you know, being infrequent with my uploads, like, I did a stream that I ended up deleting because it just wasn't all that good, and it was like five days ago, and before that I posted a stream from like six days ago, so, and, you know, the streams isn't gonna, you know, really attract subscribers, so, it's just, it's one of those things, you guys, also, this is really reflecting off my live movie maker, but it's whatever, this video isn't gonna be too long, <laughs> so, um, also, let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see some vlogs from the cruise. I plan on vlogging anyway, but I may not post them unless you guys want to see them. I'm going on, uh, the ship line is Royal Caribbean, and the ship itself is called Harmony. It's a really big boat. goes out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. For those of you who've been on cruises, you might know what I'm talking about. Um, and we're going to St. Martin. We're going to San Juan, Puerto Rico. So, if I have any Puerto Rico, uh, subscribers... I'll be there. <laughs> I'll be in San Juan. We'll do a fan meetup, a whole 688 subs. <laughs> um, and then I will be at Labadee, Haiti. I will be on practically the other side of the world. So, again, there I won't be able to upload at all. I'm not going to have any internet, and I don't feel like paying $30 a day or whatever it is to have freaking internet, which it's really going to suck because of the fact that, you know, I like to keep up with what, like, the people I'm subscribed to upload, like, you know, so it's like once I get back from that whole week, if I didn't check my phone at all, then it's like I have so much shit to catch up on, and it's so ridiculous. <laughs> so that's going to be one thing I'm going to have to deal with. Um, I might try whenever I get to the islands and stuff, try and pick up some Wi-Fi and see what I can do, um, or just go off my phone and hope for the best. Um, but expect very few uploads from the channel until like a week from now, or really a week let's see today's friday the, the 12th expect on like the 21st for me to upload another video if i don't upload one this sunday which i'll already be gone on the boat by then so yeah i, I want to enjoy my summer i'm a two-year graduate now i only have two more years of school and then i'm completely done um and plus, I mean, me uploading daily really doesn't matter at this point anymore since I'm not going to be able to make this a business, which I think is why I've been kind of bleeding subscribers, and that's something else I want to talk about in this video before I wrap it up. I think I've really been bleeding subscribers ever since I did that guest upload because of the fact that when I came out on my video and said the truth, you know, because that's totally not clickbait, um, I basically said, look, I wanted to make this a business, and 
it obviously hasn't worked out. So I think people kind of thought I was in it for the money, even though I'm not. It was never about that. I was just kind of hoping to quit my shitty job so that I could do this, which, you know, is obviously not the case. No matter whether, you know, ad revenue happens to outweigh how much they spent on YouTube than it is, you know, on TV. Um, because even Robbie Cole said in his Q&A, what he does is like working two part-time jobs, but at the same time, that's not just him doing YouTube. He also runs like his own, I guess, card business because he'll, you know, buy and sell cards and all that stuff. So you want to make money off of Yu-Gi-Oh, you got to work this full time. Like you straight up have to like buy cards when they're low, sell them when they're high. Like that's how you make your profit. And then if you do YouTube and you have 50,000 plus subscribers, then yeah, you're good. It's like working two part-time jobs. But... I just, I don't have time for that, and I, God, God knows I cannot make this channel successful like Robbie's, uh, or Cap G's for that matter, or Cyber Knight, or whoever, just because of the fact that, number one, I'm in school, uh, number two, I work a shitty job, <laughs> that kind of takes precedent over making videos, and three, I like having a life outside of Yu-Gi-Oh!, four, yu gi -Oh is not my life, um, and five, I can't make a living off of Yu-Gi-Oh!, <laughs> it, like, that's just how it is, so... Yeah, and I, I guess, you know, like I, like I said again, I think I've just been kind of bleeding subscribers because of it, because people think that I was in it for the money this whole time, which I'm not. You know, I do this because I enjoy it, because I enjoy talking with you guys. Do I like the attention? Yeah, I mean, I'm a little bit of an attention whore. Like, I want to have a thousand plus subscribers. I feel like I should be at a thousand subscribers by now. I've been doing this for six years. Jesus. <laughs> that's a that's a bit of a, a shell shock there. Um, it's actually funny, because I started this channel back... When I was in junior high, I was in like 7th, 8th grade, and I remember I was bullied so much. And I did this channel because I wanted to escape all that. And at first, I started off kind of strong. I still remember, like, the, after I uploaded like three videos the very first day I made my channel. And I got like 25 subscribers. And then like a couple days later, I got 50. Then I hit 75 subscribers. This is in like a week span, like two week span. Then I shot back down to like 45. Then I shot down to 25 and then 15. And it's just been hell ever since. <laughs> like I'm, I've am i kind of accepted at this point that I'm the wings of redemption of the Yugi tubing community. Like my channel just doesn't grow. <laughs> like it either remains stagnant or it decreases unless I guest upload on somebody's channel. But, you know, it comes with the territory. I don't really care. Um... You know, it it was funny, too, because when I uploaded that Jerome Porter video, yes, this is a buy list that I have for cool stuff games. This is like 20 bucks here, whoopee, but I need something to play with. That's what she said. Um, when I uploaded that Jerome Porter caught stealing video, apparently the owner of the store, I say that with air quotes because it probably was just a troll, said that, um, why did you say thank me later? Because I was responding to... Um, a comment that someone had made, like, his ban had got s suspended for even longer from, like, events and stuff, and I said, oh, yeah, you can thank me later. Well, the problem was was that I was texting someone at the same time, so I was responding on my phone. I wasn't, like, at my computer or anything, and uh, then someone commented back, again, the apparent store owner that Jerome Porter stole from, says, why are you saying thank me later? And I just kind of played it off like I was joking around. I was like, um... Oh, well, I'm saying thank me later because I'm the reason why, you know, his suspension was extended. And y'all, you know, if someone tries to upload on their channel saying it was because of them, you know, give credit where credit's due. And he's like, no, your video got just over 200 views. You're not the reason why. And I'm like, and that's when he said, too, that he was the store owner. He's like, I'm the store owner. I'm the one that reported it, blah, 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 which I think is a little horse shit. <laughs> because for one thing, a store owner is not going to be a dick. On the internet, like if he was the real store owner, he's gonna be like, "Well, you know, this wasn't really the reason why." And blah blah. blah. Like he would have been nicer about it if he was the store owner, which is why I think it was a troll. Because no owner is gonna act like a shithead on the internet, like unless you're just an idiot. <laughs> um, so yeah, if it was a real store owner, he would have been nicer about it. Um, and so then I was like, you know, he makes a really good point because that's when I realized I was like. Why did I put you can thank me later? So I just deleted his shitty comments and I deleted all of my comments and whatever. So now it's just the other person's comment that I was responding to because, again, I put you can thank me later, but that's because my mind was on a text message I got sent. I was going to say thank me later. So anyway, just some random drama going on on my channel. I, tr I Even though I don't make any money off of this, I still treat this like a business. And if someone's going to shit talk me, I have a problem with that. <laughs> so... Shout out to the apparent store owner that Jerome Porter got caught at. Again, I still don't think it's the owner because he was being an ass. So any store owner, at least that I know, doesn't act like an ass on the internet. Like, they're more nice about it. And they say, well, if he really was a store owner, in my opinion, he should have said, 
I'm the store owner where Jerome Porter was stealing from, blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't really think your video is the reason, however, good video. Like, you just don't come on my channel and be a dick. So, sorry, that was a little rant. Anyway, point is, I'm not going to be uploading for a week. Your boy is going to be cruising, going to be drinking, going to be cruising. I'm going to be dabbing and dabbing on them nice Canadian girls. Because <laughs> believe it or not, a lot of Canadian girls go up on these cruises. And uh, Cap G, if you want a girl or something, or you know you want a shoddy side chick or whatever, email me. You know my email, dude. I'll bring you back a beer or something. <laughs> as long as you come on down to Florida so I don't have to go all the way on up to Seattle because... My ass ain't driving all that way, or flying for that matter. So, if y'all want something on that cruise, like a side chick, a side boo-boo, you know who to talk to. Just call up Ghostbusters or me. <laughs> um, yeah, that's going to be it, you guys. And uh, remember, your future's bright. You need a pair of shades. <laughs> all right, y'all. Subscribe if you've not already, and I will catch you guys in a week.